of a surfer named Buttons. Do you wanna... Aloha and a good Monday morning to you. Another beautiful day in paradise. This is Surfer Joe Typo on 98 Rock AM and FM with the Surf Report. Let me tell you about the current surf heights around the island of Oahu. We have the smallest spots like Waikiki, barely breaking it just a foot. Two to four foot trade wind swells are hitting into Makapuhu and North Beach. Sandy Beach and Diamond Head check in at two to three. And when the surf's up at sunset, it's way, way up at Pipeline. Buttons, if you're out there, be careful, you hear? Buttons Kaluyo Kalani, which is why even in Hawaii, everybody calls him Buttons. He has lived nearly his whole life just a short walk from Waikiki Beach and speaks that special right. musical language of the locals known as Pigeon. Hey, What's up? How's the girls? Cheeks. And the girls. How are you girls today? Pigeon is one half cup English mixed with a teaspoonful each of six other languages from Polynesian to Japanese. It's the language of surfers. And not all that easy for us non surfer mainland Howleys to understand. Some of the kind of waves out there are. They're happening. Just go out there, catch a few. You know, it's up two to three feet barrels. I think you can handle. I get you up on that board in no time, sister. I tell you, you're gonna dominate out there, man. Hey, it's happening. You gotta get out there right now, sister. Some of the kind of, kind of, kind waves today, hey. Well, what do you say when Hawaii's favorite surfer says he'll teach you how to surf? I think that's what he said. I'll tell you what I said. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I do. He borrowed an extra board for me and led me out to sea. Me! I've never surfed before in my life. What am I doing out here on the board? <laughs> You're gonna learn how to surf, and I guarantee you will. <laughs> when I show you off, you'll be in front of the wave. You'll be going on top of the wave. Okay. okay. When I tell you, when I yell, to stand up, to get up on your knees. Remember it all. <laughs> I'm gonna be holding on for dear life. What are you talking about? Standing up. Start paddling. Start paddling. Here we go. That was it. My first ride. Just a taste of something I wanted more of. God, you gave me a good push there. That was the ride of the day. Don't you know? You're a natural. You're a natural. All right, let's go. All right, Sister Sarah. She got it. She got it. She went so far on that one. That was so neat. my arms. <laughs> These skinny little things don't take me very far. I wanted to surf standing up. After all, even Driftwood can surf lying down. You Holly woman, <laughs> you cannot beat these Hawaiian waves. No way. <laughs> Doing fine, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you. This time you're going to go further. We had just turned around when along came that legendary perfect wave. Go, go, go. Yeah! No time to think about it, just go. Waikiki is a south-facing beach protected by the island itself from the great Arctic storm-generated surf that hits the North Shore full force. 
These are the penultimate waves, the breakers which have given this stretch of beach its name, the Bonsai Pipeline. Oh. The pipeline is to surfers what Everest is to mountain climbers. Only a very few of the very best surfers in the world can surf pipeline. a wave coming towards me. First thing on your mind is you want the wave. Everything happens so fast. You get in position, you drop in. You hit the face of the wave. There's an enormous barrel coming at you. First thing you want is to turn into that barrel, come right behind the curtain. You're in there deep in the barrel. You know you want to come out. You're in that heavy tight position. You're way behind the barrel, right? The intensity of the force in the barrel. <laughs> and sometimes the wave closes out on you, man. Like, it just smothers you and pulls you down to the bottom. It hurts. That's a challenge you gotta take, man. That's, that's surfing. Hey, that wave was so hot, bro. Yeah, how was that drop? Oh, the it's drop was devastating, <laughs> The North Shore waves are not half as intimidating as the North Shore girls. Some come to surf, some to watch the surfers, especially the hot surfers like Buttons. He's not hard to spot out there. When a wave is really big, he's likely to be the only one going for it. times the Hawaiians were masters of the open sea and the surf was their playground. The first Europeans to witness surfing were amazed. In 1778 Captain Cook wrote of surfing, the boldness with which we saw the Hawaiians perform these difficult and dangerous maneuvers was altogether astounding. And it's taken me 10 years to do what I do now. I'm 25 now. I reach 30 years old. I'm still going to be out there at Pipeline, wherever it is the best because that's what I love the most. That's surfing. <laughs> 